Hi, I'm Todd Dibas, and this is Seth Cullen from Sports Press Northwest. We're here today to discuss whether or not the Mariners should trade Ichiro at this point, um, which I say they should. Seth says they should not, <laughs> as indicated by his head movements. <laughs> so uh, I think it's time for them to move Ichiro, hopefully by the All-Star break this year. Uh, granted, what they can get for him in return is probably – uh, pretty low considering his salary, his age, and that he's predominantly a singles hitter, which uh, I think he's been wrongly derided for over his career because getting on base is obviously a huge factor in scoring runs and winning games. Um, but at this point, I feel like the Mariners would be better suited if they moved on, uh, if they freed up the money, if they obtained a potential young bat for him. Um, and I feel like the overall movement of the organization needs to be one that's kind of this full rebuilding, not this one foot in, one foot out type of rebuilding that they've been in the past few years and we've seen the results of that. But Seth thinks that each row should stay. Each row should stay reasons. because, well, first of all, I think when you're rebuilding, people make the mistake of, let's get rid of the good players. Each row is such a good player uh, and he's so valuable even at the salary that he makes. Um, I just don't see any, any reason to get rid of him. Why can't they rebuild around one of the best players of the generation? Yeah, well, I mean, it seems they've been trying to do that, and they've had 101 losses the past two years. And that's and Ichiro's fault? No, it's not, it's not his fault, but considering how much money they have invested in, in him, they could probably spread it around a little better. Um, and maybe if – I don't want to get into VORP. Um, or war. Yeah. We can. Um, no, I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> but in, in general terms, um, finding someone much less ex expensive that obviously will not be Ichiro's equivalent, but can be a similar type of player on a much, for a much lower salary, enabling you to do some other things some other places, um, I think would be a benefit to the overall organization at this point. And it just feels like there's this bizarre reliance on Ichiro to kind of carry the organization. He's the only marketing, he's not the only marketing tool, but one of the main marketing tools. And um, there's also this fallacy that people come to the park a lot. Some of them come to see Ichiro, but not a lot. And I, and I think that's something that we saw proven by the terrible attendance this week when they set record lows at Safeco twice. Um, it's just that people aren't simply buying a ticket as frequently as the past to simply come and see Ichiro. So you lose a lot of that marketing advantage as well, I think. So you think they should get rid of him because he's not as good a marketing tool anymore? Well, I think that's partly what they relied on him for. Yeah. I mean, obviously they relied on him for 200 hits and his arm and the great outfield that he plays and for being such an exceptional player. Um, in no way, you know, I feel like it's kind of the old uh, high school, it's it's not you, it's me, but it, it's not him, it's the Mariners, and they need to kind of break this mentality that they've maintained for the last, you know, five, six, seven years when things haven't been good, especially lately as they churn through managers. And again, is that directly each row's fault? No, but do I think they would benefit at this point from moving on and moving, moving him and them just moving on and moving forward and figuring out what they're doing next? Yes. I mean, I see your sort of mentality argument, but I think it's really is overridden by how excellent Ichiro is, a, is as a player and the fact that even if you take $18 million he's making this year, I just don't think you can get, I mean, they're paying Jack Wilson $5 million. They're paying Jack Cuss $2.5 million. They're paying uh, Ryan, I think, $1 or $2 million. They're, I mean, they're paying Silva 5 and Bradley. I mean, that's sort of an outlier. But, you know, you, you st it still costs money even to get below average players, mm -hmm. and Ichiro makes, even though he makes 18, 17. you know, you 17, you mm -hmm. add up, you add that up, and you're getting a bunch of average players, and you're not getting anyone who's as excellent consistently as Ichiro. So, I, I think that they can, you know, if they get if they have more talent, there'll be less of that reliance on Ichiro mm -hmm. as a marketing figure and as sort of the figurehead of the team, and they can move forward um, with Ichiro on board uh, towards a brighter tomorrow. Yeah, that's the prevailing question for me is if I think if they move forward without him, they may come into winning more soon, um, which seems counterintuitive because, as he said, and as we all know, he's just an excellent Hall of Fame player. Yeah. Um, but they need to move on. They need to rebuild. 
winning replaces all of these other issues, marketing and any finances. And they need to figure out how to do that. And I don't feel like they can move fully toward that until they move on from Ichiro and kind of end this reliance on him to be everything to the organization like he has been. So that's it for now. You can follow us on Twitter at, at SportsPressNW, and you can visit us on Facebook at Sports Press Northwest, or I'm sorry, Facebook.com slash Sports Press Northwest. I'm Todd. He's wrong. We'll see you next time. Let us know what you think. Trade Etro or keep him. We'll see.